you know, I found myself now doing a real business and I found that I cannot do it alone. So I hired young people that were also jobless. We started saving, saving, and through that, I managed to get a, a truck, a second-hand truck, to start a business. First of all, he has to mobilize people, especially young people, because they are always there looking for where they can be able to get something. So that is the biggest challenge, and it is where you have to start there. No, no matter how much you have, you must have them. You know, like ACREF is doing community service through art, and that makes us unique in this area. But I'm using the talent that I have to work, to be a social worker in the community. But I'll never lose focus, or I'll never forget that I'm an artist. <laughs> we have different departments. We have school department, we have a FEMA department, and we have uh, also theater department. We found that there's a lot of kids who are very bright, but they don't have that opportunity to go to good schools, let me say good schools, as in, because those schools are very expensive. So right here, there is a, an office, a small office for, for our school project. And on, on the other side, there's a small office for our small also project, it's called AFEMA. And right there, uh, back, there's a gym for the physiotherapy department. Uh, the theater was built for a reason of entertaining, at the same time, educating through song, through dance, you know. And also the theater is a part of our income. So the success only comes from within you, you know. The big thing that is bringing down a lot of groups in Kenya is the money issue. You know, when the group or the organization start receiving a lot of funds, if the group is not disciplined, and if the members are not honest by themselves, then the group will come down. So I believe that ACREF has been successful because of the discipline of the members and the focus of the, of, uh, of the group. So what we have here is Mazao Agricultural, Agribusiness and Educational Farm. It's, uh, it's supposed to, this is a business and it's also uh, an educational center. We are farm, where our member small-scale farmers come, get the idea, see what's happening, and then they implement it in their own way, in their own place. One thing that was very evident in this, the same place was the fact that most of the initiatives based on the slums were coming from outside. So I thought it was wise to have a, an initiative from within that makes young people own the process of their own development. Thousands of young people move from the villages, from the farms, to the city centers in search for, for a job, only to end up in the slums. Their profession, if I may call, was to look for a job. You wake up in the morning, you look for a job, you come back home. You wake up in the morning, you look for a job, you come back home. But look at the, take this person in the context of, of the farm, taking advantage of the resource that is there. This person has the ability and the potential to become an employer himself. And then uh, I also discussed the concept of social entrepreneurship, make profit and at the same time develop the community, develop people around. So yeah, 